Hello everyone, my name is Diogo Souza and I would like to present to you my newest twisty puzzle, the Scubicopter Plus. As the name implies, this puzzle is a hybrid puzzle that combines the cuts from a Scub, which you can see over here, with the cuts from a Curvy Copter Plus, which are these curvy cup cuts over here, as well as these stored cuts over there. Uh, this is the second prototype I have made for this puzzle. I had made a post on the Twisty Puzzles forum a while ago talking about my first prototype, which unfortunately failed. And uh, thanks to Yako, uh, who financed this, this working version, uh, I have now produced, produced it. And uh, I'm very, very, very happy with the results. This puzzle turns amazingly well, as you can see. The curvy cutter axes just turn with a single finger. And the skew axes also turn amazingly well. And this is true for every axis. Yeah. The puzzle, much like a normal curvy cutter, uh, can jumble, as you can see. If I just do the typical jumbling move. And like the, the curvy cutter plus, it can also use these stored cuts to move pieces around and exchange corners for these jumbly pedals. Just put it back. Uh, unlike a normal curvy copter, though, this puzzle can do this move with ease. As you can see, the layers are just sliding past each other with no problem. If you try this on uh, a normal curvy copter, what actually happens is the pieces start hitting each other, and the puzzle starts pushing pieces out, and it's it's, it's just very weird to jumble sometimes. I mean, moves like this, that on a, a normal curvy copter just are kind of awkward to make and the puzzle gets all pushed out and locked up. On the on the Scuby Copter Plus, let me just get this back, there we go. On the Scuby Copter Plus are absolutely effortless, as I am going to demonstrate right now. I mean, you could just do this, done. And the puzzle is not locked up, it's not stuck, it's not nothing, it's just behaves as it as it should to be honest um, besides having the normal um, jumbling moves because of how the two geometries interact this puzzle also brings some interesting uh, new jumbling moves normally when you turn a curvy copter axis you're turning it around these rhombuses over here or rhombi however you say that um, but you can actually do a halfway scube turn or a 60 degree turn and you have these tri trapezia over here which you can then use to keep turning the cube and produce very different uh, jumbling moves to the normal uh, curvy copter and you can just keep jumbling just as you would normally let me see if I can get this back again, there we go other than this, you can also align a piece as you would to begin a normal jumbling move. And instead of doing that, you can do curvy, um, I mean, skewed moves. And the puzzle still turns and can still keep doing uh, moves just like that. This allows the puzzle to reach some very weird configurations and I think I have lost my... no, there we go, there we go, here it is. So, um, yeah, I think that's it, I'm just gonna scramble it now, because I just know you guys are dying to see this puzzle scrambled. Going to begin scrambling it like... I'm sorry, my phone just rang. Like a normal curvy copter. This is what it looks like when you just do normal curvy copper turns. And now, like a cube. The puzzle sometimes can get a bit locked up because the layers are just so easy to turn. Sometimes they, they turn without, without you wanting them to. 
but that can just be easily solved by by adjusting the the tensions. It's not a big deal at all. So this is what a puzzle look like looks like when it's doctrinarily uh, scrambled, as you can see. And now I'm just going to start doing some some jumping moves. So you can see how crazy this puzzle can can get. So this is what it looks like after some normal curvy copter jumbles. And now I guess I can start doing some skew moves and some skew jumbling. Just like that. As you can see these trapezia are starting to, to form. And uh, sometimes, as is normal with jumbling, you get some, some moves that, that get blocked. So yeah, this is what the puzzle looks like when it's been thoroughly jumbled, just like a spiky ball of jumbled mess, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this puzzle. In the description you can find a link to the Twisty Puzzles forum page, as well as a link to the iMaterialize page where you can uh, purchase this puzzle if you want to. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the puzzle.